Hello, my name is Rich McHugh from the University of Victoria Library's Digital Scholarship Commons, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do download and install RStudio for Macintosh. First off, if you go to a search page and you type in R download for Mac, do a quick search. The very first one should be the download page on the R Project website. And I've searched for Mac, so it'll take me to this page. What you want to download is the R4.0.0 .0 or R4. something PKG file, the very first one that's notarized and signed. If we click on that, it'll ask us where we want to save it, at least it does in my browser, and then it will quickly download the R package. Uh, downloading and insta installing RStudio is a two-part process. First you install R, and then you install the Graphiker interface RStudio on top of that. So now that R is downloaded, I will click on it to open up the install program. Click Continue. If you want to read through the information about it, you click, you read that, and then you click Continue. This is the license. It's an open source license. Agree to the terms. Install it in the default location. And we're going to do a full install. It'll prompt you for a password or your fingerprint to install it. So there, it's done. We'll close that. I'll move the downloaded file to the trash. And then I'll open up another tab. So we've installed R. Now we're going to install RStudio. So if we open up a new search box and type in RStudio download and then search, we'll get RStudio download as the first link. Scroll down and we want to download the RStudio open source free version. So I'll click on the download there. It senses that I'm on a Mac. If, so I'll click the download RStudio for Mac and then hit save. Now that it's downloaded, I'll click on the install program. And then I drag and drop this file over into the applications folder there. And there, I close that. Now if I open up a new finder window and I go to applications, and I can scroll down to RStudio. Double click on that and RStudio will open up for me after it verifies it on my version of OS X. I'll open it and there we are. We have RStudio running on my computer.